Three, two, one. Welcome back everyone. What an absolute stunning view this is. I do it every time we come here. So today we're at Chesil. I want to say we, me and Sam. Sam's over there with his old boy out. He's having a, having a wee wee. So we're heading down to Abbotsbury. This, this road, I've literally, I've literally just pulled over on the side of the road. Um, but this view is something else. So I'll just pan you around. So you've got like, um, um, sorry about the wind, but we are out in the open. That is um, Weymouth over there, and then it brings you around to Portland, and then down the ferry bridge end of uh, the beach, and then obviously round there is where we're going, with a massive sausage finger in the way. But what a day. It is always sunny when I come to Dorset. It is, it's not my hometown, I just wish it was. Um, it's amazing. So today we're here fishing um, with Wayne, um, the blind angler off of YouTube. Check out his channel and Joe from Essex Foraging and Fishing, another obviously YouTuber. Um, and we are in a challenge, me and Sam B. Um, literally, I am fishing a competition against a blind man. Um, so I have to win. Now, guys, please don't take any offence when I, because we will be absolutely ripping the, the, the crap out of Wayne. He said it, he's fine with it. So if there's anybody that are watching that are sort of blind, was it partially impaired? Is that the word? No? No, I don't know what, I can't remember the word. The actual technical name for it, um, I can't remember, but please don't take offence. If you do, I'm very, very sorry. But um, we are going to absolutely rip the crap out of him. That's the plan. Um, so, Wayne's accepted it. Um, he's going to be doing the same to us. Um, so, yeah, I just, my car, my car sounds like an absolute tank. I can't wait to get fishing, really. Fishing is today from 6 o'clock till 12 o'clock. It's now 4 o'clock. So we've got two hours to go and park up and then walk to the mark. We are going to have quite a walk along the beach um, to where I caught some cod last year. Sam is going to fish match style with flappers and small rigs and I'm going all out for a cod because we all know I love cod. Um, because I don't catch many. We always want what we can't have, don't we? Um, so yeah, that's that. So I am going to have a wee myself, jump back in the car and head on down and we will see you guys on the beach in a bit. We're on the beach, guys. We are on the beach. It's blowy. I, I, you can probably hear the wind. Sorry for that. But we're out in the wilderness. Um, there's not really a lot to do about it at the minute. Um, yeah, the sea looks very mean. It looks very coddy. It's just the sun has decided to just come out, um, which we don't need. But there's enough colour in that water. If there's any fish out there, uh, they won't be scared to be in this close. It's got a lovely, lovely colour to it. It's got a lovely surf to it. Um, good chance of bass, I would have thought I would have fought tonight as well. Um, but as we all know, my main target is cod. The main thing is we beat, we beat Wayne and we beat Joe. Um, now I'm literally fishing, as I said before, against the blind man, so I need to sort of win this. Um, but I am, we have got a bit of a game plan, me and Sam. Sam's going to fish for crappy fish, like white and dogfish. Sam's really good at that. Beat Sam. No, no one likes a tote, mate. No, no one wants to tote. Um, and I'm just going to fish all out for cod. Um, and I'm going to have a big rod out. Well, yeah, Sam is going to have a big rod out. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Just common lug, squid. Um, I could have bought blacks, but I just... The, the last the last few codling I've caught, I've, I've done a lot better on the cod here on, um, on commons. So, that's the plan. Look at that shelf, look. Where it just, just falls off. Now, we don't, I've said to Sam, Sam's never been here before, and this place can be very naughty. They reckon like, I think it's like one in every seven waves can be the bigger one. Just look at the different weed lines where it's pushing it up. But that shelf goes all along there. We will not be going down this shelf. It's just not worth it. Because one of them waves could come up and could flip over this shelf. We're, we're fishing just above the high tide mark. High tide, I think, was about three o'clock here, something like that, something silly. And we're fishing it down and back up a couple of hours. So we're fishing all over low. Um, which on a beach like this is probably my favourite time to fish. I don't know if it's the best time to fish here, um, but that's what we're doing. I'll probably be back here Monday anyway, and I'll be fishing the daytime, fishing the um, fishing the high water. So yeah. Well, well I'm going to get my gear set up. Sam's 
already halfway there. And uh, we'll bring you back when Wayne and Joe get here. We'll introduce them guys. And then, um, well, we'll we do the fishing. Sam, what are you doing in the box already? Arrow links. Arrow links? Yeah. You won't find none in there, mate. Where am I going to find them? Well, that'd be telling. <laughs> well, I'll keep looking then. Can't park there, mate. No, the underneath is a box. Right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Right, guys, just to show you how I'm setting up for this card, um, or how I'm going to fish Chesil Beach tonight. Um, I'm going to use a pulley dropper rig. Um, start off shot leader, obviously that's your main line. To that, I've got an arrow link, which is one of them. There's an arrow link. Go into a breakaway pulley, um, and then you've got your main rig body, which is 70 pound, no, it's 80 pound, that's so, um, that's so, that's it. Um, that runs onto one of these. I call them up to bent rig I don't actually know. No, that's the part. Attach that as a swivel, just a little small bow, so you want to attach that as you put them. Um, moving down to the bottom of the rig, there's a bait there and, and there's an in. So, what will happen is, it will fish like this. The lead will be there, and then the hooks, which I'll get to in a minute, will be away from it on the bottom. And this will be nailed to the bottom. Um, I'll show you actually something set. Um, hook sizes, I have got a, so that is a 6 0 optimus hook for sea glow. Um, it is very overkill for these cod, and that's a 5 0, just a normal 5 0 cut up, which uh, uh, I haven't um, I love the octopus hooks because they've already got that little bit of a bed high, so they're ideal for doing a pedal. Because I'm lazy and I just wrap it around a couple of times, and that's me done. That is what I do. Um, again, they're overkill for the cod, but this is Chesil Beach, and literally there could be anything lurking out there. Um, and I always use big octopus cod fishing because I hate those sort of fish like white and a dogfish. I'm not saying I won't catch them because well, I've had 12, I've been using 10 or 12 old catfish hooks, they still put white. So they will, it will still, it, it will still happen and there's no avoid. Um, just for those that don't know how this hook clips up, so that'll be your main the bottom up, clip onto your rim like that. I'll go up to the top. Now this is where that up bent turn, whatever you call it, foot comes in. It's got that little loop on it. At the top of this main line there's another little swivel. I can see that will attach to that swivel. Go up to your pulley bead, like that. Sam, you might have to do a bit of movement about here. But that is how that clips up. Ignore that hook up in the middle, that should be down the bottom of the bait. So that clips up, all nice and solid for casting. And then when it hits the water, the imp comes off, the hook slide down, and then they're fishing. Bottom. Obviously, with a bit of tide around there, we can go right away. So, both my rods, I'm going to use this rig. It's probably my go to rig for when I'm fishing for bigger species of fish, right? Smooth out, whatever I can, whatever I'm fishing for, this is what I'm, this is the rig I'll use. Um, every now and again, I use a, a normal pulley rig, pedal rig, but nine times out of ten, I use this. So, both rods will have this on. One of these rigs out at all times, and because we're fishing match style today, we're in a I will also have two more hanging on the tripod with bait on, ready to go. So, reel one rod in, unclip it, drop it on the beach, clip the other one on, cast it out, then I deal with whatever's on the rig, weed, fish, whatever, that's a good way. That was a very good way. Um, so, yeah, that is, that is exactly how I'm going to fish tonight. Um, Sam, I, I don't know, Sam, how are you fishing? Um, flapper rigs. Flapper rigs. rigs. Loop rigs. Change yeah, just basically seeing whatever works best. Sam doesn't really know what he's talking about. I can see if the camera for the funny face. <laughs> no, I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, Excellent. So yeah, either way, it's not a big surprise now, don't we? To be fair, you're picking big ones out, you? We don't know the truth behind that, do we? Oh, we don't know the truth behind that. Must we don't know how many worms he, he dug himself. <laughs> All right, guys. That is, that is the rigs. Um, rods and reels, I'll quickly show you. I know a lot of you already know, but without meaning to be big headed, the chisel videos normally do quite well and normally get quite a few more views than on the normal video because there's a lot of people that are chisel beat. Um, so, rods and reels, using 525 Mag Turtles, don't like them, but it's what I've got at the moment. That's what I'm using. Um, and rods, I'm using Craze and Sinatras. Now, they are nothing special, they're probably only. You'll probably pick them up 75, 80 quid each, just around the Facebook or eBay. But as a fishing rod, they are everything I want. They've got a lovely, lovely midsection, so they've got a little bit of power behind them, and they've got a lovely, lovely tip so you can see a bite, and I mean really, really see a bite. 
Right guys, the others are here. We are literally just waiting for the off. We're a bit late because the lads got stuck in a bit of traffic. Um, I've sorted us out some lovely lugworm. Look at these. Monstrous lugworm. Massive thanks to them. So, I mean, these are the lug they dug this morning down in Cornwall for us. Um, and these are what Sam dug for us. Cheers, cheers Sam. All right. Cheers, mate. Um, right, so I've had a word with Wayne. Um, obviously bit him being blind one of his eyes is he said I asked him I had to ask like because obviously he can see a tiny bit so he said to me one of his eyes is like um, guys if you drive and, and you're going down a country late at night and someone's got their full beam on still that light you see that horrible blinding light um, is basically what he sees out of one of his eyes and then in the other eye he sees about if you think of a fishing bead like an 8 mil bead he can see about that much so pretty much nothing um, I mean, he manages to tie rigs himself, manages to put bait on himself, but it's more feel than, than sight. Um, he can cast himself, again, it's all feel, touch. Um, you've got to remember, he's, he's been doing this a long time, bless him. Um, so, yeah, he's going to go live tonight, um, so we'll, I'm sure we'll all get on there, but there's been plenty of banter thrown about already. Um, I'm just ready and waiting now with, uh, with some baits ready to go. We had a chuck each, me and Sam. Sam had a tiny little pattern on his first chuck. Um, so there are fish there. Um, I didn't catch anything because I'm using massive, massive hooks. Let me just show you what the crack is here. Here we are. Again, sorry about the wind. What a lovely, lovely evening. It's, again, it's blowy, but let's go and quickly sail out the lads. <coughs> oh. That's what it's all about, guys. Sorry, Joe, I'm just using your t shirt. Coastal combat, and that is what it is. Me and Sam against these two. Joe, say hello, mate. Right, so that's Joe from Essex Forage and Fishing, and Wayne is up here, the blind angler. Give us a wave, Wayne. No, mate, this way. I'm joking, I'm joking. So, yeah. so the way Wayne gets around with things is bright yellow bivy, um, lots of glowy stuff on his tripod and things, his tackle box. Sorry? Tonight, yeah. Really Will it? Yeah. Happy days. Well, Joe's going to look like, uh, sorry, Wayne's going to look like Blackbourne Ruminations. Absolutely. Scaring all the fish away. Oh, I can see their bait box. Let's have a look in their bait box. See the competition. They've got some nice monstrous lug too. Again, which they dug. Better than Sam's crap. Yeah. They've also got some other bits and bobs because they went out down Cornwall with a sand hill net and they had sand hills. They've got a female peter crab. Look at these sandals they've got, look. Lovely little baits. Say some ragworm that they dug up, some whites in there. Um, yeah. Got, they've got squid, bluey. Is that a joey mackerel? A joey mackerel. Oh, these boys mean business. Okay. Professional, professional. <laughs> joey mackerel. Professional tripods, look. they got all the gear. Let's see if they've got any idea, eh? <laughs> Right guys, I will, um, that, that is it now, I'll have, that, that is going to be it for me talking absolute rubbish. Hopefully the next thing you'll see will be a fish. In a bit. Look at that sky, look. What a beautiful night. Right guys, so this is how it's going. Me and, <laughs> me and Sam, <laughs> Neil, Wayne and Joe, three. three. So Joe's had a dogfish and a strap conga. Look at the size of it, and look. Wayne, it don't matter how big or small. Wayne's caught a bait fish, but it is a fish and it is a point. Hold on, let's get down a bit closer. <laughs> no, it's in, it's in the mouth. The hook's bigger than the fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know what Wayne said? Joe, I think I've got a fish. Can you go check? No way. You didn't feel that. You didn't feel that. <laughs> Unbelievable. At the moment, Sam, that means you're quite an over a dog. <laughs> you can buy an Emirates dog. <laughs> hang on, Wayne, hang on, hang on two seconds, mate. Let's get rid of this. 
Well, the size of that one, you definitely saw that coming. <laughs> if I can't beat you with fish, I'll just insult you all night. <laughs> oh, well done, boys. Anyway, I've definitely, definitely, definitely done something to our bait. Yeah. That's what I'm... The fish all over it. Yeah, or they poured petrol in the tub or something. <laughs> well done, lads. Sam, yep. pull your finger out. Yep. Right, people, in a bit. Right, guys, just uh, brought you back quickly. Um, not because of fish, because I still ain't caught none. Um, I've just stuck a loop rig out. Um, but let's see, see where the tripod leg comes down there and the rods are sitting right up in the air because they're just trying to keep them out of the surf. It's an absolute nightmare um, because where the waves are crashing over, as soon as you get a tiny little bit of weed, like your line, it's pulling the, pulling the rod down and burying the line into the top of the beach, which obviously is no good. So I'm just trying to keep them up as high as possible. Um, yeah, but what I really brought you back for, I've just, I've just been sitting over there with, with Wayne and Joe, um, just having a chat with them for the last 10, 15 minutes now. Um, obviously, I, I've been taking the been taking the mick out of Wayne being blind, and it, it, he likes it. He really does, and I, and I would never take the mick out of anyone with any disability because it's just not right. Um, but I class Wayne as a friend, um, so it's a bit different. Um, maybe to some of you, it's still not acceptable. But what I would like to say is, I've, it's the first time I've met him face to face. Uh, normally, he just he just joins in with the lives, and we all have a good laugh, and he rips it out of us, and we rip it out of him, and so on and so forth. But I, I've just witnessed. Uh, a man with, well, little to no vision, set his own rods up, bait his own rods up, cast his own rods in the dark on Chesil Beach. Now, I don't, you can just about see down there, it is, it is moody, like, it is, it is, it is rough, and I, I mean, even for me, it's worrying, but that man is walking down there into the unknown, and I, I have to take my hat off to him. What an absolute legend of a man he is to be able to do that. And don't get me wrong, Joe as well, because Joe's spotting him. So, so Joe's standing at the top of the beach and saying, right, that's enough, Wayne. Um, a little bit left, aim the rod a little bit left, aim the rod a little bit right. Um, but 99, 95, I say 99.9% .9 of it is Wayne. Um, obviously, hats off to Joe as well. I don't know their story, how long they've been friends or whatever, but Joe obviously, Joe could go fishing on his own and just have a nice, peaceful, easy day. Not saying that Wayne's a hindrance or anything, but what I mean is he's there and he's he's not babysitting, but he's helping him out. Um, so that's off to Joe as well for doing that because he's giving up his fishing time to help his friend out. I mean, I suppose that's what we're all there for, but I, I'm hoping you're getting what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, I, I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and he said earlier about... Um, he was he was born with it and his eyes are basically just getting progressively worse and although he can still see the odd thing or two he reckons within another year or two he'd be that'd be it kaput he, he won't he'll be completely blind won't be able to see anything um and he did mention he's got a couple of young kiddies he's, he's got two boys i'm sure he said two boys one's three one's seven and he said there's a cure and he just carried on talking um and i said to him so what's the cure then and i thought it was pay loads of money go to america but I actually said it was just his kids giving him a kiss and a cuddle and saying how much I love him. And he, he, he said, I, I don't need to see anything. I, I just, because I know, I can feel, which is, what? it's, it welds you up a bit, if I'm honest. Um, things like that don't normally bother me, but it, I mean, it's not that it's bothered me, it's just got to me a bit. And I just think, how lucky I am. I can see my kids and doing what I love doing. And, and I just, I couldn't imagine my life to be like Wayne's and he's never down about it he never, he's never bothered about it and I just what an absolute man he is um, massive massive fair play to him um, that's that's about it guys sorry I, 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 I hope I'm not boring you but I just need to say these things if I'm honest um, what I'd like you to do if you can Joe at Wayne's live tonight on, the, on his Blind Angler channel um, but because he hasn't got a thousand subs he's got 550 odd or something like that um, he has to use a, a different app. Now, he likes going live, reason being, um, he can read off of a phone. He, he has to read one letter at a time. So if you say, for instance, the word love, whatever, he can see the L and then the O and then the V and then the E. So then he, he, he reads it and he pieces it together. Um, but because he has to use a different app, uh, rather than YouTube to go live that connects to his YouTube, he doesn't see the comments come up on his phone. Um, so he has to do it through Joe's phone and he's constantly, Joe, what's, what's, the, what's going on? What's going on? Who's, who's saying hello and things like that? So guys, get over to Wayne's channel, The Blind Angler. Give him a sub, if you can. Um, I will leave his link in the description and I always say that and I never do, but today I will, for Joe, under, uh, for Wayne, sorry. 
Um, because his enjoyment is going live and interacting with other people that way. Um, again, he's, he's, he's not worried about money and fame and all that and, and having millions of subscribers. He just wants to be able to talk to people and have a good time when he's fishing. So if you can do that, guys, that'd be amazing. Um, and also, Joe's got a channel as well, Essex Foraging and Fishing. Have a look at that too. Um, I mean, he's, he's over the 1,000 subs mark, so a lot of you might have seen him. He does some cracking videos too up the East Coast, so um, yeah. Right, now, forget all that, because I still am in a competition with these gentlemen, and they are beating me, um, me and Sam. They are 3-0 up, so I need some fish. In a bit. Sorry guys, it's not a lot, but it's a uh, it's a fish and it gives us a point. A small dog fish on the turret loop rig, lug tip squid always does the trick, and on the uh, on the sea glow um, match and scratch hook. So, oh, it feels so good to be off the mark, even though it's a dog fish. But when you're in competition, it don't really matter. Um, and I've got a nice little free sticker off the blind angler. What a legend! All right, in a bit, I'm gonna get another one. Right guys, desperate times now. So, the fourth, obviously this is a challenge. The forfeit of this challenge is the team that loses has to go live wearing women's clothes. That is the forfeit. Me and Sam are currently 4-1 down. Um, the lads have had a couple of tiny white, and when I say tiny, they've been about, probably about 100 mil, so like 10 centimetres, so, so that big. Um, now, I'm wondering if there's plenty of them out there, but all, obviously the hooks I'm using, they're not just not going to get on. Um, even the bigger sea glow uh, mash and scratch hooks are not going to get on. So I've just found some uh, some old camasans in my box. I mean, look how old the state of the packet, look, from Swanage. Um, tiny size four hooks, one of the Sam's tiny little lugworm on, and a little bit of herring, just seeing if I can pick up a couple of these little tiny whiting, um, because a point is a point. Um, yeah, we really don't want to go fishing in women's clothes and we've got to go live as well, that is the rules so me and Sam will be in a dress or some I don't even want to think about it if anyone knows where I can buy high heels in a size 12 please let me know in the comments boom that is what it's all about now that ladies and gentlemen I changed the rig I put small hooks on, I put small baits on the fish I wanted to catch was caught now yes, it is the smallest whiting, and you're thinking to yourselves, that surely doesn't count. But the rules of the competition was, one fish, one point. That brings, Sam's just had a pattern as well, so we are now 4-3. I need one more of these little bad boys to draw us level. One more. Now I have to go and show this to the live camera. Um, but first I'm going to bait up and get my rig back out there. Um, I'm afraid to say this little whiting's dead. Um, so keeping it out of the water for another five minutes really ain't going to make a difference. There's no way it's surviving that surf, getting chucked back. So it'll end up going as bait, I reckon, on a big rod. But yes, 4-3, Fish Hunter is still on the game. Guys, I know this is a crappy video. I've done more talking. You've seen a dogfish and you've seen the world's smallest whiting. But this is what it's about, in a bit. There we go, guys. 19 minutes to go of the comp. And I've just bought a level with the tiniest pattern I've ever caught. Now... Again, that fish was on that rig where I scaled down the hooks to tiny, tiny size fours. So it just goes to show you that you can catch fish um, when it all is going tough. Anything to save a blank, if you're that sort of person. Now normally, if I was fishing by myself, I would be here for cod, which I was here for cod. But because it was a competition and Sam wouldn't pull his finger out, I had to do it myself. So I changed down to smaller rigs, bought in a couple of small fish and bomb. Back to four all. I've, I've got one more chuck and I'm hoping I can get one more fish to try and take the win because no one likes to draw. Now this fish is still alive so I'm going to go and get him back. In a bit guys. Right guys, end of comp. So it was 4-4. Four, four. The whistle rang at midnight. Oh, Joe's got another one and all Sam. Well done boys. So the whistle rang at midnight. Wayne reeled in a dogfish on the last chuck which made it 5-4, me and Sam both wielded anything. So Sam is absolutely useless. So I'm now looking for another fishing partner. Anyone that wants to fish with me, if you could please send your CV to www.samsabellend.com forward slash, forward slash the fish hunter. Hold that, <laughs> no, I'm not. Hold it. <laughs> what an absolute helmet. He's caught one fish. Sam, you buried a torch. Um, yeah, I'll take that, I need to go and feed out the fish. Hold on. Um, yeah, let's go and see the boys. And they're massive grins. 
So now I really need to find out where to get high hills in a size 12. <laughs> Bones, oh, dog. How many did you have two, didn't you, mate? I had two, yeah. Two. Finish 7-4 in the end. Oh, that's a hus, yeah. The, 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 the other one's a hus, that's the one. Yeah, that is a hus, definitely. Oh, well done. I don't think I've ever caught a hus. Yeah, that's weird though, isn't it? Last cast. Yeah. And, uh, free to be fair, that's probably the best time to be fishing. We've got yeah. three hours till I walk. We're going home at the worst time. Yeah. But if I don't drive... Yeah. yeah. But if I don't drive home in a minute, I will die. Yeah. I will die. I, I didn't expect that. No, neither did I. Neither did I. I thought we was going home as a draw, but no. Oh, yeah, it's not happening. So the boys have absolutely smashed it. Well done to them. <laughs> Stop shining my light and everything. To be fair, I only let him win because he's blind. No, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> oh, well done. Right, guys, that's it for this video then. We will see you. We're going to try and get out again with the lads Monday, but me and Sam have now got a plan of life wearing ladies' clothes, thanks to these two. <laughs> see you on the next one. Well done. Thanks, guys.